Hello and welcome to Matt Parker's Mass Puzzles. I'm Matt Parker and the Mass Puzzle this time involves a checkerboard, which I'm wiping in live over there, so it looks about right. Now, currently we're playing on a 4x4 grid, but don't worry, we'll mix it up in a moment. The way this game works is uh, you've got two players with different colored tokens and the first player goes first, unsurprisingly, that can be you or your opponent and you put down one token, uh, red, in this case red. The second player goes second and they put down their green token and it occurred to me while I was doing this that uh, people might be red, green, colorblind, in which case I apologize. So uh, there are two different colored tokens appearing on the board over there and the way you win this game is by avoiding forming a square. So for example, if the red person went there, you can see ah, that is a square. So they would then lose the game. Of course, they'd probably spot that and they'd move their red um, somewhere else. Green could go here. Now, squares don't have to be aligned with the board. That is still a square. So they would lose. So uh, they'd probably uh, put the token somewhere else. And then you keep playing until eventually one person is forced to put down a token which completes a square at which point they lose and the other person wins. Now this game here could carry on, one player could win, the other person could win. I don't know if there's a strategy for player one or player two. If you find anything out about that, let me know. I'm just curious to know, is it possible to draw the game? And that's the submittable puzzle this time and not on a 4x4 board. We want to know, is there a way that you can draw on a 5x5? Five five? Now this time there are an odd number of squares and so whoever goes first will put down 13 tokens and whoever goes second will put down uh, 12 for a total of 25. Spoiler, it is possible to draw if you can find a game where there will be a draw. And of course most games will end with one player winning but you know, maybe the players are cooperating to try and find a draw, and uh, it, so you've got to find it. That's it. And on the Think Mass website, Oliver has done a fantastic job coding up a submission board where you can click either 12 or 13. You can be player one or player two. You click where all of your tokens go, and the blank ones that you don't click, they're your opponent's tokens. So here, you're clicking in all of your moves and none of your opponents and then we're going to check if there are any squares and if you're successful at this you'll be able to select 12 or 13 such that none of them form a square and none of the blanks left behind form a square. So there you are, that's your challenge this time. Good luck. As always, you can submit it on the Think Maths website, uh, usual place as always. And I guess the, the general question is, okay, I've given away you can draw on a 5x5, five five. what about a 6x6, six six? what about a 7x7? Seven seven? How big a board can you get to and still have a solution where everyone draws? So that's the kind of open question, or you might come up with some interesting strategies. Is, is there a way to definitely win if you're the first or second player? I suspect there's some symmetric arguments. If you're the second player, you could do always the, the same move as the person before you, but symmetric. So there might be something interesting going on there. I don't know. If you find anything fun, send it in to Matt plus puzzles at standupmaths.com. And who knows? We'll see what happens. So that's this puzzle. Thank you so much, everyone who gets involved. And I look forward to seeing what you do this time. Matt out.